Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you a cool trick in Microsoft Word. This comes in handy when you're working with uh, long, long documents. So I only have a two-page document, but assume it's 50 pages, and let's make it an employee handbook. I have a section called Dress Code, and I'm going to make Dress Code a Heading 1, and then Shoes and Shirts fall under Dress Code. And here's the question that I was asked. If somebody wants to make, obviously, time off a heading one, because that's a new section, but they want time off on a page by itself at the top. So click in front of the T in time and do Control-Enter. That's a page break. Except, if you forget to do the page break, then you may have a heading one, two heading ones on the same page. And we want to avoid that. So let me show you the trick I came up with. Just right-click heading one. Just go to Modify, Format, Paragraph. By default, you'll be on Indents and Spacing. Go to Line and Page Breaks, and just tell it to be a page break before. That's what this is for. Click OK. Click OK. And now Time Off went to the top of page 2, which is perfect. That falls under Time Off. Travel needs to be a Heading 1, and I hope it jumps to page 3, and it does. And I'm not going to cover covered in detail in this video, but the reason you want to use styles is for this reason. I'm going to go back to the top of the document, control enter, puts another page in, go back to the top, I'm on the references tab, table of contents, and there's my table of contents because I use styles.